Yes, yeah, so let's talk about the nervous system a little bit. This process of regeneration, long-term process. This is what people don't like. <laughs> I understand, me too. I like fast. I want fast. I want right now. Okay, God, like I stopped PMO. Where's all the energy and the girls? And like, I want it right now. Yeah, it doesn't work. <clears throat> Most people that start the PMO habit or <clears throat> excessive uh, dopamine stimulation via watching things on the internet or beating off, etc., you already have a weak nervous system. You wouldn't do these things if you were, your nervous system was functioning optimal, optimally, right? Because you'd already be good. You wouldn't need to go do these things to try to get a hit. It's logical, right? So it's those people usually whose nervous system's compromised already. So they feel a lack of like luster and uh, energy in life. So they're looking for a hit. This is, this is what makes an addict an addict. Give me some hit I need. Like I don't have the natural resources in me to, to do this, to, to feel good. I need some help. I need an edge. Give me a hit. Okay, so then you get your hit. It's dopamine. You're doing things that stimulate the dopamine center. And all of a sudden now you start getting energy. You start to feel like it like changes. Your, it, you're, you're, you're doing a mind mood altering thing. Everything's mind and mood altering on some level. But you're doing the wrong thing. Not wrong in a moral sense, I'm not about that. Wrong in the sense that long term you're gonna suffer, and I'm gonna explain why. But at first you like it. You're like you're like excited, like you feel like you know you're you're jacked up because all the dopamine, it's like you're shooting adrenaline all the time. But what you don't know is your nervous system, it's already weak, remember, because this is why you're doing these things to begin with. So what's happening is your nervous system is gonna get more weak. It's not to scare anybody, the body's super resilient. Once you stop these things, you can regenerate. Okay, so nobody's a lost case. Just sharing the process. This is also how people fall a victim to these Taoist, you know, <clears throat> these silly practices about uh, stimulating your yourself and uh, up to almost climax and then stopping. And then they, and then it's like, well, yeah, I just feel so much energy, I'm, I'm like, I'm like building up my energy. <laughs> this is how the mind rationalizes. No, you're shooting dopamine, you're shooting adrenaline, steroids. That's what's happening. So yeah, you're gonna feel a burst of energy. Remember the movie Crank? Yeah, he, uh, he was an adrenaline junkie to the extreme. That's a good movie. All right, so at some point, you're gonna realize these things. It's gonna be like, you're gonna have to face it because it's gonna stop working or you're gonna turn into like a, just a manic mess. You're just gonna be edgy all the time. Man, like why am I so edgy? You go from being kind of down, which is more real before you started the PMO because that was the default of, your, of the condition of your nervous system, but now you stimulated it so much, it's like on edge all the time. I had a friend where I was living before who knew uh, Terrence McKenna, especially at the, at the end of his uh, life, ter at the end of Terrence McKenna's life. The guy did so much, uh, <laughs> so many drugs and plant medicines for so long. Because me and this guy, we, ha we were having, a, he's a plant medicine brother and I was too. So we were having this conversation about this actually, about the nervous system and how damaging long-term use of these things uh, can be because they are they're super strong super powerful alkaloids in these plant medicines so yeah once in a while enjoy it you're doing it all the time you're gonna rat out your nervous system because you these medicines stimulate the hell out of your brain and in dopamine center that's why you get the visions and the psychedelic effects and everything because it's like opening channels that normally they shouldn't be open so at the end of the Terrence McKenna's life, uh, this guy, I was asking, I said, man, I bet Terrence McKenna's probably like, how did he do all that? Like he must've really suffered. I mean, wasn't he like super, like just restless? And, and that's how the conversation got started. And this guy, my friend said, um, yeah, you couldn't even talk to him at the end. He had a cigarette in his mouth, like 24 seven, couldn't sleep. 
just full of anxiety. <clears throat> so, oh, and I noticed this too. Last year, see, I've been on the planet now 48 years. So I've known some people now for a few decades. And my friend's sister and her husband, I saw them. I hadn't seen them in maybe 10 years or something. Then I saw them last year. They came over. And uh, they've been drinking and smoking weed their whole life. And I was, uh, I seen them, man. It's like, whoa. They're like, they're, they're, they become so dull. The, the girl's super dull, which is just kind of, you know, and the guy, her husband, super uh, manic, super manic, just on edge. Hey, hey, Josh, how you doing, man? He wasn't even on nothing. Nervous system. Nervous system super compromised. So what happens at some point by grace or you, your own self-honesty awareness that like something's not right. Most of you find uh, videos like this or books or something because your, your spiritual instinct guides you to find these things. That's why I say God's taking care of you. Uh, something realizes, you know what, like I think I need to stop this. <laughs> and um, what happens then? You stop it, you stop the stimulation, your nervous system goes back to its default setting without stimulation, which is gonna be, it can, it can, the symptoms can manifest in two different ways. You can either be very like, uh, uh, you know, you just don't have no energy, no libido, no nothing. So then they asked me like, I don't know if I should keep doing this. I'm like, man, it's part of the process. Like you gotta go through this. That's all I can say to those questions anymore. Like, you just gotta, some aren't gonna do it. Their mind's gonna trick them into not going through the process and then they're gonna go back to their, their habit and okay. Others, something inside says, wait a minute though, how can I be doing something that I know is good for me and it turn out to be wrong? I don't care what the symptoms are, I'm gonna forge ahead. Those are the people I'm talking to. Some people's minds, like they, they, got you, they hold you hostage. You just believe everything your thoughts say. Even then I'll tell you it's not true and still, you're just like, I don't know, it feels true. Don't trust your feelings. There you go. Don't trust your thoughts and don't trust your feelings. You have to become aware of this inner sanction inside that's guiding you. Go see my spiritual channel, Spiritual Renaissance. That's what I talk about there because that's the highest. We have to become awoke to our true nature, our highest self. And then these things just don't matter anymore. Your life doesn't become so important on a physical level. It's like, okay, you're here for a little bit. You're playing this role. It's like you're in a theater, but it's not who you are. We're here on this planet such a short time, man. Like, who cares? <laughs> in a good way. Yeah, do your thing. Try to achieve your goals, but don't take it so serious. Like, we're going to be out of here before we know it. This gives freedom. I think I'm pushing the envelope, though, on this channel talking about that. So... Let's get back to the, the semen retention. So we're talking about the nervous system. Once you stop this dopamine stimulation, you're gonna default back to your normal nervous system settings, which are probably low. So you're either gonna feel really tired or you can feel the opposite. So really tired, it's like hypo, like no time. Hyper is when you stop this these habits and then your body goes into stress mode. It's not getting its dopamine. I'm telling you, dopamine's an addiction. Same. Same like heroin or anything else. It's not getting its drug. And so then the body gets stressed and starts pumping out cortisol. And so then you start to feel really anxious and hyper and you can't sleep. And then some may, may confuse that with like having a lot of energy. It's not really solid energy. It's more like uh, neurotic energy. Same thing if somebody does a fruitarian diet for too long, like me in the past, or raw, if you did raw foods for over, over 10 years, you can experience that, or too much water fasting, dry fasting, etc. It stresses the nervous system. That's why I keep saying balance. You gotta, you have to recognize this, uh, <clears throat> this inner balance. So you have to bear those symptoms for a while. 
whether you feel overly tired or, or overly hyper and you can't sleep, you just gotta bear, you gotta bear that. Go to Sex Porn Addicts Anonymous. There are meetings online, they're free. You can Google it. That support will help you because people there know what you're talking about. It's not on the same level as what we're doing, but it's better than nothing, that's for sure. And then I'm gonna try to put a group together again. We had a good group last time, the semen retention satsang group. <clears throat> it's just a, a time factor, you know? So I'm gonna put one of those together again. And <clears throat> each group we do, we're gonna go higher. It's gonna be more advanced because we have to. Those who are just starting, you're welcome to come, but, but I need uh, the people that have been doing this a while, we need to keep that vibration. Ask those higher level questions, you know? There's too many questions about, oh, but I still get wet dreams. You can't control it. It's involuntary, don't worry about it. Trust your body is taking care of things. That's why you're getting a wet dream. Don't make it a big deal. You're not doing PMO, okay, good. Oh, but I lose energy. Well, you lose energy all the time anyway. You're gonna keep losing energy the older you get until finally you're gonna lose all your energy and leave the body. So we have to look at things in the right perspective here. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.